Y'all gave Verity by Colleen Hoover a lot. Y'all really made it seem like this was top tier writing, top tier storytelling. And while I think it is a good book, we are really going to get into it and I'm going to share a lot of my opinions about this book. Welcome back to my channel. It is Candace with a K here where I normally talk books, beauty, and kicks. Today is going to be a book rant. I have a full sheet of notes that I've taken because as I was reading this book, I had some things go through my mind that I want to share with you today. First and foremost, Verity is a story about a writer who is being asked to take over the series of another writer because she has become disabled and in doing so, the writer goes to the how, home of the writer who's disabled to kind of research and gain better understanding of the series so that she can write the book and a bunch of stuff unfolds. And so we're going to talk about all that unfolds. But before we get into all of that, I want you to know that this is not a spoiler free review. This is us really talking about it. So if you haven't read the book, go read it and then come back and let's see if our opinions are the same. The book starts with the main character. I can't even think of her name right now. The main character sees somebody get hit by a bus. And that person's brain matter is like splattered on her. That's how the book starts. From there, I should have known what I was getting myself into. Because how do we start the book like this? And there's no resolve to that murder, right? But she ends up getting whisked away into the bathroom by this strange man who offers his shirt and all of that only to find out that he is part of the business proposition that she, the meeting that she's headed to in the city. So all of that all right, right there is a lot of fluffle. <laughs> Colleen, what were you really thinking to introduce us as the reader to this murder off the bat? Should I have been weary of the man or should I have been weary of the woman? That is yet to be uncovered. So the girl goes to this meeting after exchanging shirts with a stranger to then sit in the meeting face to face with said stranger. And he has a request that she take over this series. She herself is a writer, but kind of on a you know smaller market, not as well known as his wife who has this series that is very well received, often in the like thriller suspense villain um error because it follows the seven deadly sins so he's like yeah i want you to take over this series and she's kind of on the fence about it and i'm sure she probably would have rather not have taken <laughs> this job but they're offering a substantial amount of money so I see what Colleen was doing here, trying to wake us up, okay? She's waking us up. She's telling us, like, why can't a writer live off of a livable, livable wage? And I hear you, Colleen, because writers should be able to live off of a livable wage. And writers shouldn't have to sacrifice and go through things like this just in order to be able to work on their crafts and perfect their art. So I hear you, Colleen. I hear where you was going. But what you did instead was sent that woman... To those people's house okay so he's like telling her like yeah when you take on the series come stop by the office so that you can get all the materials all her research blah, 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 so that you can perfect this you know series and i'm sure it's, it's a lot of stuff in her office you're really going to want to sit with it she goes to the house now i don't know if it's the black in me okay but yeah, I can stop by, but am I spending the night? No, no, I'm not. And so what does she do? She spends the night. She ends up, you know, going through the office, realizing that it is a lot. It's a lot. And in the office, she comes across the woman's unreleased manuscript. That's kind of like her memoir, right? 
And in this memoir, she's revealing some very deep and dark stuff. A lot of it centered around an obsession of her husband, not wanting kids, wanting to kill the babies. She's revealing all this stuff. So my first thought is, damn, okay, you have this disabled woman who has this very dark memoir of wanting to basically do anything to make sure that her husband remains just to her. Um, what's really going on? But you know what that main character did? What she thought was the most logical thing to do was to go hunch on the husband. She started creating this crush and this obsession over this husband who has a disabled wife upstairs. Should we not be concerned? Should you not be concerned? What gave you the inkling that this man wanted some booty while his wife was upstairs and you were going to be the one to give it to him? as his son runs around. So then what gets kind of creepy is that the the author who is being uh, brought in to complete the series is noticing that Verity, because that's the wife's name, Verity, she's able to like, she always makes eye contact with her. And I don't know, as a disabled person, if I make that initial eye contact with a disabled person that is supposed to essentially be a vegetable and I keep having these instances, I'm leaving. There's nothing that's going to keep me in a place where I feel unsafe. And she clearly felt unsafe. So leave. My whole thing is there were so many instances where the author that was coming in didn't feel secure enough because she knew that Verity could move. She knew Verity had movement. She knew Verity was still very much alive and able. But you didn't act on it. So who's right or wrong? That's what I thought. So when you was making out with my husband downstairs and you saw me at the top of the stairs, you didn't think to leave then. When you saw that my son had a knife, you didn't think to leave then. When you got locked inside the bedroom and you couldn't get out, you didn't think to leave then. So how many times did you have to be warned? Baby, you don't get the picture? You, you, you're you not putting two and two together? What's, what's really going on? I just needed one sign if it was me personally. And what makes it worse is that you are reading the manuscript of all these tormented things this woman is doing and you're still staying. Make it make sense, please. On the other side, okay, I consider myself a writer sometimes. Um, I understand that there are various writing techniques out in the world. By the time we get to the end of the book, we realize that all of it is kind of fiction, fan fiction, essentially. And it's a writing technique to help to dig into that villain and that dark aspect of your life. However, any writing techniques that I, me, she, her would participate in would all be fictional. I would never take my real life experiences and twist them in such a way that if anyone was to come behind me, they could potentially believe it. That's the tricky part. Um, so you did lose some children. So I think they actually in life did lose two. So I would never take my dark darkness and turn it into, you know, further furthering the crazy, okay? Like, I understand people do take their real life experiences and they turn it into beautiful art. But for, us, for the sake of practice and for the sake of technique, I don't think I personally would do that. Because that's just too dark. It's one thing when you take the darkness and you turn it into light, but she took the dark and went darker. I don't know if I can get jiggy with that. I think also what I'm left feeling at the end of the book is that is the villain the husband? Like Verity is kind of painted throughout the book to be the villain, but that's because we realize that the message is, I mean, the manuscript is false. But does that mean the villain is in fact the husband and we should have all been looking at him as cuckoo and crazy? I couldn't get to figure that out. 
what I did realize is that the woman still ended up being with this man after reading that it was fake. So she knew that the woman was trying to leave. You saw the husband suffocate his wife after knowing that there was nothing really wrong with her. And then you went and been, you went and was with him. This is where I stay out of this color people's drama and let y'all work on that because that's crazy. This is of course my first book by Colleen Hoover. I know that's not normally her lane. I know her lane is normally like love, romance, etc. This was the first book I read because the book community gave it a lot. The book community made it seem like Verity was that girl. And I'm here to tell you that Verity is not that girl. Okay, I do not think it's a bad book whatsoever, but I also don't think it's that great. I think I kind of was left feeling like, oh, okay, thanks for, thanks for that. Like, thank you for sharing. <laughs> um, and I, I think that's part, in part because of how the book community hyped it. The book community made me feel like Colleen was doing her thing. Um, I think it's very crafty. I think the I the execution could have been a little cleaner, a little better. Um, but nonetheless, I think it's a decent and fair book, but I don't know. And I don't even know what I was expecting, but I just was hoping for something else, if that makes sense. I think I need to pick up some more Colleen books. Um, I'm seeing them everywhere. Y'all really ride for this woman and I just need to figure out what the tea is on her and whether or not it's something that will be of interest to me. Because when people are Hoover fans, they are Hoover fans, okay? So I'm going to have to pick up something else to really get into it. For me, Verity was like a three, three and a half star book. Um, and that's all I could really give it. If you haven't already, be sure to follow Candace with the K Reads on Instagram. You can also follow me on Goodreads. All of those things are linked down below. It is a great place that I engage in dialogue. I do monthly giveaways and I would love to extend my book community outside of this little platform here called YouTube. Um, and I want to thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.